That area's an oven. Don't go burning that R-wing. Be reasonable, Fox. I'll be careful. All right, welcome to Solar, everyone. Um, yeah. Solar has a unique gimmick in that the more you fly, the more damage your R-Wing receives. And you obviously want to stay very high up in the stage. Uh, thankfully, everything you shoot pretty much will drop rings for you to recover your health. And gold rings help out a lot, too, because they can boost your life bar. And... Obviously, you want to shoot a lot of stuff anyways. <coughs> Unfortunately, this stupid, pathetic shit laser that isn't going to be too easy. I really will hope that- Ooh, yes! Thank you so much, game. Thank you so much. Ah, twin laser is so much help- more helpful. In fact, I wouldn't even care, like, if the hyper laser wasn't even in this game, I wouldn't even care too much. It's just that the twin laser that makes this game look so damn be much better. Because the single laser, if you don't know how bad it actually sucks, it sucks a lot. Oh, and I don't have bombs yet either. So of course, I had to freaking die in the last level, which got rid of all my bombs. There's a bomb, though. Okay, we'll move halfway through the stage. I don't think I actually killed any of those birdies, though. I think that I only severely wounded them. Just the annoying ass factor. For that part there, I believe they will actually. It's I. I think that they chased Balcolair until his death. So that's pretty annoying that you have to actually take out those guys. It could be this part here, though. So another set are gonna chase. Or no, another one is gonna chase Slippy, and I think he also chased him until Slippy's death. Okay, well, I have three bombs. I'm hoping I can do this stage. So there's a part coming up where you should be able to get a lot of kills if you use bombs properly. Ooh, Silver Star, not bad. Uh, I'm hoping I can do this. I need to get like 30 more kills. And I don't know if I can do that or not. Um, I'll be kind of spamming bombs at this point, but to be honest, at this point, I won't be needing bombs much for Macbeth. Ooh, not bad. Oh, jeez. Um... Uh, okay, I just need, like, nine more kills or something like that. Um, let's hope I did this. Uh, yes! Alright! Just did it! <laughs> oh, boy! Alright. I just got the metal stage, and I actually have my hyper laser, so this is gonna be pretty much a joke of a boss. That was very, very freaking close. I will honestly admit that. Whoa, jeez. Oh, uh, come on. Finish up. Basically, you just gotta attack the arms and then the head. It's, like, one of the easier boss- it's, it's kind of one of the easier bosses in the game, in my opinion. Ahem. <clears throat> Thankfully, we actually have something really a really friggin' unique level in the next stage, which I'm really looking forward to recording that Beth, because that's one of my favorite stages in the game. Okay, then. So we're still star. Here they come! Here they come, even though there's just one friggin' thing. Uh, this guy, I, I know he has a name in the 3DS version, but <clears throat> I don't... I just like to call it Andross's bioweapon because that's pretty much what it is, even though I think Cyborg was also a bioweapon. Cyborg's like the one boss I actually do remember what the name of it is. Well, there are a couple other bosses I remember. I know what the one in uh, Mechbeth is, and obviously I know like what the final boss is and the Star Wolf crew, I guess. Other than that, though, I don't think I know any of the other bosses in the game. 
I think that the the boss in Zonus had a really interesting name. I can't remember what it is though. All aircraft report. Either way though, that was it for Solar. I'm fine, I'm fine. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. Ah, you're getting better, Fox. Uh, I guess 100 enemies exactly on for the medal, and join back telephone ring, join back next time for more Star Fox 64, where we'll be going off to Macbeth. <laughs>